Hey everyone, we're just wrapping this up. This is part two of this question. Do look for part one if you haven't already found that. Uh, in part one, we were in the middle of discussing uh, how we get this next number that we're, gonna, that we're going to need, and we were able to come up with the fact that 120 minutes is equal to two hours, which is what they're asking about. And the number that we need is we need to, we're looking for which ratio would mean fewer commercials. So the magic number, or the number that we really need to pay attention to is the number that we're going to put in this box and the number that we already have in this box. So to finish this, we concluded that 60 times 2 would be 120, and we're just going to do 13 times 2 to get this number. And if you're not good with mental math, then let's just uh, do 3 times 2 first, which would be 6, and then do 2 times 1, which would be 2. Now, just to make sure we're on the right track, because we'd have to make sure that these two numbers, you know how these two numbers added up to be 120, we need to make sure that these two numbers add up to be 120 as well, just to make sure that our answer is correct. So if we do 7 times 2, we get the 14. And here we get the 8 and the 1 more, which would be 9. Now, we don't really need that number other than just to verify that these two numbers add up to be 120, and we need this number to verify that these two numbers also add up to be 120. So now it's time to actually make a statement. You have to actually write a sentence or a, a little paragraph down that actually answers the question. So let's talk about what that might look like. The normal way is better for viewers in a two-hour show. The normal way uses 26 minutes for commercials, but the proposed way would use 36 minutes for commercials. So you do need to write something like that down in order to get the full points and make sure that your workspace is nicely organized and that it makes sense. All right, hopefully you found this helpful.